Hey everyone, it's Avi Levon and welcome back to another video in my wedding series. We're gonna cut straight to it and I'm gonna give you the 10 tips that you need when you go wedding dress shopping. You and me were meant to be as one The universe has known it all along Maybe this is where our story starts Maybe it was written in the stars now in this video i hope to give you guys some helpful tips we're going to avoid the most obvious tips of set a budget do your research check out designers know where you want to go right like wedding dress shopping we're going to get into some other tips that i think will be really helpful right now all right my first tip is to set expectations with your support group entourage whatever you want to call them now there's a number of things that you might wanna set expectations on when it comes to your group of friends, your family, et cetera, that might be coming wedding dress shopping with you. First and foremost, it should be a very exciting time. So you wanna be sure that everyone that you do bring with you is on the same page as you. So make sure they know the type of styles that you're into, um, you know, share a little bit of that research with you or share a little bit of the research that you've done with them on budget, types of dresses and silhouettes that work best for you, and just some inspiration photos. That way they can kind of be helpful in that area. Also on that same note, be sure to share with them how you want feedback when you're trying on all your different dresses. Do you want to be able to share your opinion on the dress first? Do you want other people's opinions first? Would you like for people to stay silent if they don't like the dress? How would you kind of best thrive um, while you're trying on dresses? Because you wanna keep your spirits up throughout the day. Lastly, when it comes to setting expectations with your group, if you are doing your wedding dress shopping during um, COVID-19, you'll wanna be sure that you set expectations on the number of people that can come with you while you go shopping. So you might have to be really, really, really selective on who it is that comes with you. I know here in Atlanta, there have been a lot of rules that only allow for two to three guests to come along with you, uh, just that way they can keep the numbers down in the store. So that way you don't hurt any feelings, no one feels any more important than another, um, all of that, and to just really let everyone know what the situation is right now while you're wedding dress shopping but there are some other really cool ways to make sure that people are involved if you want to do that I've seen people do like um, zoom meetings and FaceTime calls and all of that to be sure that their loved ones that they would want there um, is able to participate in the moment my second tip when it comes to wedding dress shopping is very specific into the moment that we're living in now and that is to wear and bring with you a skin colored mask so in a lot of places right now, they're asking for people to come in wearing masks. And a lot of times that makes it really weird and hard to get a full picture of what a dress might look like as you're all dolled up and such. But if you have somewhat of a skin colored mask, um, it helps to kind of give that illusion of a full face rather than you wearing a bright pink mask or a completely white mask or whatever the color may be. If it is skin color to you or a nude color, um, it helps to a little bit so that you can get that final look. A lot of places though, maybe you can take off the mask for a little moment or so um, on the dresses that you really like. That way you can start to get the full look, but that is definitely really helpful in that process. My next step is to wear the correct undergarments. So usually I am a sucker for great undergarments, but my first time wedding dress shopping, I wore all black undergarments and I didn't realize how challenging that was going to be while I was trying on dresses. I was trying on dresses that were see-through in the midriff area or maybe had low plunging necklines and so you could see some of my shapewear and et cetera. And I realized I do definitely want to be wearing shapewear because you want to suck it in, you want these dresses to fit so that you can get as much of the actual effect of the dress, even though they are sample dresses. But with that being said, you don't want any distracting colors underneath your dress that takes away from the effect of you being able to imagine yourself wearing this dress on your very special day. So I would highly suggest a nude color undergarment, um, preferably probably something that is um, mid thigh and goes pretty high up on the stomach. I love to personally shop skims when it comes to a lot of my undergarments. So for my later appointments, I ended up wearing some of my other skim pieces um, and they worked out perfectly. Tip number four is to get all dolled up for your wedding dress shopping appointment. If you haven't already checked out my get ready with me as I go wedding dress shopping, be sure you check out that video. I'll link it up in the cards and down in the description bar below. But I think it is so important to be sure that your makeup and hair look somewhat close to maybe how you might imagine yourself 
on your wedding day. It helps when you're there in the shop to be able to fully imagine what it is that you might look like um, on your wedding day and ultimately kind of helps decide the dresses that you might like. So you don't want to look like you just rolled out of bed or just got out of the gym or anything like that. Do come fully dolled up, ready to go. Tip number five is to bring some wedding dress shoes with you while you go shopping. I'm gonna be completely honest, and while I was wedding dress shopping, I was barefoot basically the entire time. But especially at the last shop we went to where I ended up buying my wedding dress, it was so important to me to be sure that I had some uh, heels that I thought might be very similar and very similar to height um, that I might actually wear on my wedding day. Because when we ordered our dress, we wanted to be sure that we had the right length on the dress uh, that was appropriate. So I got to try on the dress with the heel height that I thought I might wear on my wedding date. That way we could order my dress in a court, like an appropriate size. It takes a couple steps out from you having to go back home and try on different shoes or come back in and all of that. Um, so do bring a pair of heels with you that you think might work for your wedding day. Wedding dress shopping tip number six. Do not worry about the dress size numbers. This one completely threw me off. I'm not really a big person anyways when it comes to um, my actual dress size. I like to keep it relatively in mind to just kind of know um, when I'm doing good or bad with my diet and exercise. However, um, not a huge number person anyways. But when it came to wedding dress shopping, going in and seeing some of the numbers of the dresses that I was trying on and they fit so well, I was like, man, did I just gain a lot of weight? Like what's happening? I know it's COVID and we've been home, but like, I don't remember being that size. And these were sizes that were, might've been six to eight um, sizes larger than what I would um, what I would be in a normal dress size. Um, so in talking to one of the stylists and consultants there, they explained to me that dress sizes are all over the place um, when it comes to wedding dresses. So do not focus on the number. You just wanna be sure that you're picking out dresses that fit well to you. I have no idea why they do that. I would love for someone to explain that to me down in the description bar below. Um, but you just want to be sure that you look good as you are in all the dresses that you're picking. Um, and that also comes to when you're ordering your dress to not pick the size that you want to be when it comes to your wedding day and you're picking your size as is. Most alteration places can take off about four inches in total from like the dress. Um, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. So as long as you're not hoping to drop four inches or so, um, which is quite a bit, uh, you should be okay in your alterations if your weight does fluctuate just a little bit. Tip number seven is don't be afraid to get a little friendly with your stylist and consultant at the wedding dress shop. So I figured that we would have a consultant that would be helping us out during all of our appointments, but I didn't know how friendly we would get. It's not something that particularly bothers me at all, um, but it makes a lot more sense when you're in the shop. So you actually have someone that is there helping you to get in all of the dresses, get out of all of the dresses. If you wanna see what your dress looks like, like bustled or um, with a veil on and everything. These are the people that are doing it. So they are physically touching, helping, manipulating, all of that to make the dress work and for you to get that mental and physical image that you want to see ideally in this wedding dress. So that means a lot of touching, potentially a lot of uncomfortable moments if you're not comfortable with it. Um, so just be prepared for that. Obviously, I think in some situations if people are really uncomfortable uncomfortable there's room for family and friends i think to help out in some of those areas um, but do express that too but um, there's a lot of times that you might be changing in front of other people that way they can get you all situated and ultimately just be the best help and support to you um, as you're going through your wedding dress shopping experience when you first start wedding dress shopping be sure to try out every single style of dress so yes, we all come in with this vision board of what we expect our dresses to look like and all of that, but you will be doing yourself a huge disservice if you don't try on at least one of every style of dress. You want to really just confirm that your vision and your idea for your day is exactly what it is. Um, so personally, myself, and I think everyone knows this, so I'm not spoiling or ruining every, anything, but I really, really do usually love like a mermaid mermaid or trumpet style gowns. Um, I do that for all of my balls and galas. I've done that back in the day with all of my prom dresses and all of that. So um, no surprise there. I knew that largely for my wedding dress, that's what I wanted. But the first shop that we went to, and you can see that in another vlog um, to see all the different dresses that I tried on, um, but I tried on a little bit of everything. So I definitely, of course, got in all of my mermaid and trumpet style dresses. I got in my A-line, I tried on a ball gown, 
Um, I did it all. I wanted to try on all of the laces. I wanted to try all the beading. I wanted to try just all the satin fabrics uh, just to really ensure that um, what I thought I might want is actually what it is that I want. Um, and you might be pleasantly surprised by some other styles too. Tip number nine. So once you're trying on all of these different wedding dresses, it becomes really tough to remember which dresses you actually loved and which ones you didn't. You try on so many that they all start to blur in so quickly. Um, so the helpful tip that I learned while we were going through that process is as soon as you have a favorite dress, hang that up next to you as you're trying on dresses. Um, so whether that be in the room that a lot of your family members and friends might be hanging out in to see you in the wedding dress, uh, hang it out out there so that you always have something to compare it to, the dress that you're wearing and this favorite dress that's hanging up over here. And then as you have different favorites, favorites replace that dress. Um, so that way you're only really operating off of two dresses, trying to figure out which is your favorite and it keeps the selection kind of small. Any other possible considerations you can keep somewhere else in the dressing room, um, but always have your one favorite that you were always, no matter what, going to compare to right in front of you. Last and certainly not least, tip number 10, be sure you take all the pictures and videos that you can. So not only for all of the nostalgic purposes and reasons, but you also don't want to rush this decision of you buying your wedding dress. So when you come back home after your first appointments and you're reminiscing on all the different dresses that you have, you want pictures, videos, and everything of all of the details in that dress to help you ultimately make that decision. Do not feel like you have to be rushed into deciding your dress and picking it out, but instead be sure that you have enough to document um, what it is that you liked about each of those dresses, what are the details like, how does it photograph, all of that. I went to quite a few different wedding dress shops, I'm a little ashamed to say, but ultimately it worked out for me finding my perfect dress. Um, but it was super helpful as we're going shop to shop to have very similar um, posed photos and videos of each dress um, and especially from my favorites from each of those shops. That way I had an easy way to compare um, all of my favorites from the various shops that we went to. Um, so you want to be sure that you're getting pictures straight on from the side, act like you're drinking a little bit of champagne. You want to see the details in the back. If there's any details, lace, all of that, be sure you're getting pictures of that. Um, you also want to see some movement with it, which is why little videos come in handy, but you want to be sure that you're capturing all that you can, um, with this dress to help you make your decision. Okay, this is editing Avia coming in from a couple weeks later. So I'm here editing this video and I forgot to close it out. So that was all of my tips. How many did I give? I think I gave like 10 or so <laughs> to wedding dress shopping, especially during COVID. So there's some good COVID tips in here. Um, but if you did like this video, be sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't seen my come wedding dress shopping with me video, I will link that up in the cards, like I said, and down below in the description bar so that you can check that out. I also did include a couple other nuggets of a couple other dresses that we looked at. So potentially that could help people figure out the vibe of what the wedding dress is that I ended up kind of going with. I didn't show it in the video, but perhaps you can get a good feel for what it is that I really liked out of a dress. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the little nuggets that I dropped within here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.